Hallo, mijn naam is Riem Schalkwijk. Uh, welkom op my little organ channel on YouTube. And no, I don't go to bother you with the learning process of Pierre de Notre Dame that's currently at my organ desk. No, today I'm going to talk with you. I'm going to talk about how to attract people to your organ music channel. Um, and specific your organ music channel. Because if I had the question how to attract people to your channel, then I had an easy answer. Just buy a rabbit, paint it pink and green, and let it run through your living room. Before you know it, you have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and millions of clicks. That's easy. But growing an organ of a channel if you are an organist, that's quite difficult. Um, so that's I gonna talk about. And, um, and to make it smaller, I only gonna talk about the psychological aspects of it. So I don't wanna talk about algorithms, how they work. I don't gonna talk about making nice descriptions and how to, uh, uh, um, to make hashtags and that kind of things. You can read all about that on um, YouTube and uh, you can search for it on and, and Google. Just search for how to grow your YouTube channel um, and you can get hundreds of uh, thousand hits. So we gonna talk about the psychological aspect. Um, yeah, uh, first of all, in the, in the daily life, my day job is working in the field of psychology and ethics at a Dutch government organization. And next to that, I am an organist, and most of the time a YouTube organist. And maybe I also have to say a modest YouTube organist. Um, there are far better organists um, than I am. Um, but still my channel is growing. Uh, my channel has been growing from uh, 80 subscribers a year ago to um, 1350 now. So that's quite a growth. And maybe you also want to grow with your channel but are stuck. And um, I probably have some tips and tricks for you that can that you can help. So that's what we are gonna talk about. But first of all, it's important to look in the mirror and to ask yourself the question, do I want to grow my channel? Because if you don't, that's also okay. If you have a small channel, with just a, a, a modest, modest uh, uh, that's the wrong word, with just a few subscribers and not as many clicks, uh, that's, and you are satisfied with it, that's okay, of course. If you see it as an outlet or maybe a sort air guide, archive for your performances. Um, that's of course a very good reason to use YouTube. So you don't have to grow. But if you want to grow, maybe these uh, tips that I give you can help you. Um, I have um, a, a paper to help me because as you probably know, I'm a Dutch guy. So my native language is Dutch, not English. So I have uh, written down some sentences in English because they are difficult to remember in English uh, or to pronounce. Like the word psychological, that, that's an awful word for a Dutch guy in English. And I have to use it a couple of times today. So I do my best. Um, first of all, um, Music versus you. Why do come people to your channel? Most of the time because they are searching for a specific music piece. Or they maybe they know your name, they, they know you in real life, or they know you uh, as from, from other social media and are interested uh, in you or curious about you and they Google you. So that, that are the, the, the most important reasons. Um, so people come to your channel most of the time for the music. But why do they stay on your channel? 
Why do they click your next video? And why do they comment back? Because they like the music and they like the way you play the music and they like your videos. And why do they subscribe? That's interesting. Because they like the music, they like the way how you perform the music, they like the videos, the quality, and they like you. And the next one, there's also a possibility to become a member if you have already the, the, a bigger channel. Um, you can also become a paying member. And why do people that? Because they like your music, they like your videos, they like you, and they like your journey. They want to be part of your journey. So, that are four things. Um, and you have heard me saying the word music. And you have me heard, heard me the, saying the word you. But I said the word you much, much more, much more frequently. Because in the core it isn't about the music. It's about you. I've uploaded this year a piece a day. That was my challenge for the year 2022. And most of the uploads uh, are pretty decent. They are correct musically. Um, uh, they aren't, uh, uh, if they, they, they don't have errors. But if I Google the name of my music pieces, I always find pieces that are nicer plates as I did. Happily, I find also a lot of pieces that aren't played as nice as I did. But there's always, there's always better music. So, why do people subscribe? Why do people subscribe to my channel? Because they like the blend of music, they like me, they like the total uh, picture and um, that you have to have in mind. It's not only the music. Um, as a matter of fact, it's, it's far more about you instead of the music. So, if you know that, um, then you can use yourself. And yes, you have an advantage if you are young and handsome, male, women, or in between, then you have a big advantage. But you have an advantage in the whole life. That's how things work. That's attractiveness. Um, so use it. And if you uh, love to wear uh, a strange clothes or, or out of the ordinary outfits, use it. Um, because all what is different is he will be uh, um, get attention on uh, on YouTube. So that's that's uh, how it works. Um, so be different. What doesn't work is believing in things as the law of attraction. Um, I can tell you a secret. Uh, secret is nice. Um, the secret is. There is no secret about it. Uh, no, it's not scientifically proven that if you are positive, uh, that everything positive will come to you. Um, if you uh, have a broken leg and it hurts very much, then you can think positive as much as you want. But the pain will won't go away. Try it yourself by kicking um, with your bare foot as hard, hard as you can to a stone wall, and say to yourself, "No, it doesn't hurt. No, what a nice wall. It doesn't work. Yeah, it does work for all kinds of consultants who earn money with writing books and giving lessons and." consultancy sessions 
for them it works because they earn a big, big bucks with it. So for us, uh, forget it. It, uh, it isn't true. Um, that was it. Uh, I had to say it. Um, what also important is, uh, um, and that's the second maybe negative point before we go on to the what works instead of what don't work. Um, what often don't work is focusing on growing, focusing on gaining subs, focus on gaining clicks. Because how harder you try, how less effective you will be. Because if you are a performer, your energy should be going into performing and not into luring people to your channel. Um, so that doesn't that doesn't work. You much better can focus on uh, how do I get attractive and how do I make my channel attractive. And if you do, then your subscribers and the clicks and the likes are coming to you without any effort. So that's much wiser to do. Um, but, but let's go back to, to the channel and growth. It's, I think, important to, to say to yourself, what do, you, what do you want? Do you want just a, having a small channel, an outlet? Do you want uh, a bigger channel? Do you want to earn money with it? Do you want to be rich with it? Forget that last one. Yeah? I told you already, buy a rabbit, paint it pink and green and then you maybe get rich, but not with organ playing on YouTube. So if that's your dream, forget it. Some organists, the best organists in the world on YouTube, um, and I know one very close, um, can make a living uh, with YouTube, but he has to work very hard. No, it's not easy. Uh, you won't become rich as a YouTube organist. But the heavy thing is that most real artists, as my friend is, um, don't want to be rich. They want to express themselves, entertain uh, uh, the public, and that's their goal in life. So, um, that's, that's important uh, to know. And now I said that artists, um, if you want to have a growing, a budding um, organ music channel, um, it's not enough to be a musician, to be an organist. You also have to be an artist. And I know, I know most organists, especially organists who spend a lot of days uh, of, of hours in a church, as an organ loft, far away in the back of the church, um, if you are such an organist, that, that's a lonely life because everything is happening in a congregation, in the church room, with the priest, the, the vicars, whatever uh, denomination you are from, um, and, and the people. Um, but even if people only see your back, you are an artist. At the moment you are performing before an audience, you are an artist. And, and that isn't, 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 uh, bad because it is it is like this um, so if you are an artist then you have to be aware of the fact that you are performing um, before others and that it is very important what the others want so you are not only for your own pleasure playing music but you are also playing for the pleasure of others um, even as if I make recordings at my own organ studio in my home, uh, in my uh, organ room at the roof of my house, I'm aware that I am playing for a public and that I have to consider what they want, what they uh, like. So that's important. You are an artist. And if you think, oh my goodness, that, 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 that's awful, I'm just an Organist, I want. I don't want to be an artist. It's okay. It's okay, but don't expect 
your channel to grow if you just are an organist. If you are a very good organist, maybe, but I think if you want to grow, a little behavior as an artist will be uh, uh, very much helping for you. So, um, ba back to, to, the, to the start. You have heard me say uh, the word you, you, you a lot. Um, so it's, all, it's really all about you. It's much more about you than about the music. So, next step. Um, love what you do. Um, an organist has to, uh, has to play a lot of different kinds of music. There are a lot of different styles. There's romantic, contemporary music, uh, uh, religious music, uh, obviously uh, uh, baroque music, uh, renaissance music, all kinds of music you can play. But see what is your strength um, and what do you like? That's, that's very important. For me, for instance, I'm a Dutch guy, um, but I don't like to play Dutch religious music. It's not my thing. Um, sometimes I can listen to it to, uh, on other channels, but it's not really my thing, so I don't play it. That means that my channel is not attractive for much Dutch listeners. Um, and that's showing most of my subscribers are coming from um, Germany and the United States and Asia and France and Italy and all other countries in Europe. Um, but not as much from the Netherlands. That's interesting. But it's okay man, because, of course, every Dutch listener and viewer is welcome on my channel. But if I have to play music that I, that I not like um, to attract them to my channel, then it's showing them, then, then I am not, not genuine uh, playing maybe it's it's even not 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 ethical to do um, because I want to play music that I love because I really think if I play music that I love that my subscribers love my music um, so that's that's important just play the music that you that you that you like and don't don't play big, difficult Bach pieces, or Cesar Frank pieces, or whatever, uh, or, or Vidor, because everyone does it. If it's not your thing, um, play all kinds of music. And I promise you, you don't need the big works to grow your channel as an organist. I think you can receive a very big channel with playing music. That's not known by the general public. Because again, it's not necessarily about music. It's about you and the way you perform and the way you connect with your public. So, um, that's being said. Um, next to that, be creative. Make quality videos. Um, spend time for it. And it doesn't have to cost much. Um, I make my videos with, with my iPhone or with two iPhones. And my editing software costs only 29 euro per year. And yeah, there are more expensive solutions and they are um, a bit easier to use and sometimes even difficult to use. Um, they're probably better. But for me, is it is it fine at, at the moment? Um, so make, make attractive um, videos. So, that was piece two, part two. And then we have part three, and that's listen. Listen. Um, first of all, listen to your peers and listen to teachers. Listen to people who know it better than you and don't be stubborn. Um, I have, I really have the advantage to have um, giant organist friends, um, James Flores, for instance, and, uh, and Villas, uh, Pink Physicist, 
and difficult name, and Fraser Garcher. I learn a lot of them. Um, I learn a lot of the way how they uh, uh, work as an organist, how they play pieces. And yeah, sometimes they give me critics about what I do and how I play. Um, and sometimes um, <laughs> it pisses me off. But they always do it to help me. And I am aware of it. So I always listen and try and, and to keep learning. So that's important. So if you have advantage to have people around you who know better, listen to them. Don't be stubborn. Uh, next to that. Listen to your public. What do they want? What videos are getting more clicks than others? Um, if I, uh, uh, I like to play fugues, but fugues aren't very popular on my channel. Um, the meditational music is, is most popular on my channel. That doesn't mean that I don't play Fugues, because I love to play fugues. They are different, but I love to play them. And you have to play music that you love, but they don't get the most clicks. So, no, I do one fugue in 20 uploads, instead of 19 from the 20 uploads make a fugue, because my subscribers will be scared away. So, you have to consider with music you uh, upload. Um, and if you don't know it, ask them. Um, ask them in the comment field, send them emails, um, ask for feedback, that, that helps a lot. Um, I have quite a few subscribers who give me regularly feedback by email or, or WhatsApp or whatever um, about my pieces. Um, they also are honest um, about what they don't like on my, on my videos. And I, uh, of course, want to learn from that. So ask. Um, and talk about it. Uh, um, talk with friends about your channel uh, um, and learn how to how to get better. Um, yeah, so that, that's that's in, important. Listen, listen, and listen. And go. The next one is also very important because a lot of organists are working from a church, as what I have said earlier, from the organ loft. So they are apart from the rest sitting in their own corner in a church. And there is a nice character, a children's book character, Winnie the Pooh, most of you will probably know it. And there's a story that Piglet, uh, one of the friends of Winnie the Pooh, is mourning in his little um, house in a corner of the 100 acre wood where he lives. And he say, why, why I am alone, I am alone, I, I'm feeling depressed and, and nobody comes to me. And the wise Minnie Pooh said, dear Piglet, once in a while you have to open the door and come out of your corner of the hundred acre woods and go to the others. Don't wait for the others to come to you. And that's a very important lesson. So if you want to grow your YouTube channel, you have to go to other YouTube channels. Um, show yourself. Let the world see that you are present. So listen to other organists. Give comments. Uh, give compliments. Give likes. Um, be in touch. Uh, uh, doing collaborations, playing music together. That's, I think, very, very important. Um, and that's important. And, uh, but, uh, not and, I want to say, but. That only works if you are really interested in the other. So if you do it to gain subs and to gain clicks, that doesn't work. So if you go to others, you have to be interested in others. Uh, and that's the only way it works. So I watch every day a lot of videos. Um, and I watch them really. It's not that I only watch 10 seconds 
so many people do that. But most of the time I watch whole pieces. And, and I comment every piece that I see. Um, and my comments are always positive. Uh, always. And if there are negative aspects in the video from a colleague organist, then I keep my mouth shut because I also have my errors. Or I send them an email or, or a private message. Uh, I get them, get them in touch if I think that's important to share them. Um, so um, come out your organ uh, loft, uh, come from your own channel and go to other channels. Uh, walk around, be present, uh, show yourself and uh, be part of the community. Don't expect to, uh, uh, to grow your channel if you sit on your organ loft and uh, don't wave to others from, from here I am and please uh, I want to meet you. Um, I do it a lot and um, it costs me time, time is precious in life, but it has given me worldwide friendships. Worldwide friendships. I have musical friends over the whole world now. Uh, Australia, Korea, America, uh, Canada, uh, uh, Italy, uh, uh, Belgium, uh, also the Netherlands, uh, uh, from a lot of countries. And that means a lot for me because, because it turns my view of the world positive. So, and that's uh, for my mental health, of course, very good because it makes you optimistic and positive. And if you are positive, your, uh, um, your own uh, audience uh, does see that and it helps you in growing. So, important. So, go to the world, be interested in others, come give comments um, and mean it. If you don't mean it, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, then you won't change. The last part, appreciate. So, give people that are coming to your channel attention. Um, if they bother to, to uh, give you uh, a comment, respond. Respond. Uh, 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 minimal, uh, I, I like eh, the, the little heart. Uh, but ju give just two words. Thank you. That's important. Because that's your thank you. You are saying, I have seen your comment. I am thankful for your comment. And you do matter to me. And in this world, people uh, do like to be mattered. So, to be seen. So, I think that's important. Um, everyone on my channel gets a nice reaction back. And yeah, sometimes it's hard and sometimes I uh, have to go late to my bed because I don't have answers, everyone. Um, but I think it's important. And if you have a big channel, a very big channel, my friend Fraser Gartshore uh, has a channel with uh, almost 50,000 subscribers. Sometimes you get lots of vaccine. Yeah, then, then it's become difficult. Then you have sometimes have to make choices. But for most of us who have smaller channels, it's no problem at all to have nice feedback to everyone um, because they deserve it. Um, it's your audience and um, that's part of being an artist is to recognize and to see your audience. So give them attention. Um, but not only that, if it are peers, if it are colleagues, um, they have, uh, who have technical questions, answer them um, in, in, in the chat or, or <coughs> in, excuse me, in the comments or uh, uh, by email. Um, if people ask me for uh, a sheet music, I send them, of course, of course, immediately. Um, because it shows that they are uh, interested in me, my channel, in my music. Um, and if I can help somebody, of course. Um, 
and uh, I think I think it's it's important. So answer questions, uh, give people what they want, and help your colleagues. Um, so I think that's important. So a resume from this video. Um, we talked about the music versus you. Realize that you are more important than your music. Show yourself. Uh, let yourself see. Um, make advantage of your special uh, identity if you have it. Uh, use yourself. To love what you do. Play music what you love. Uh, because if you do that, then you're showing positivity and that helps you to grow. Three is listen. Listen to people, listen to peers, listen to people who know it better and learn from them. Four, go to your public. Don't stay in your corner at the organ loft. Um, um, go to others, uh, learn from them. Um, and, and behaving as an artist, and, and I forgot that one. And the last one, appreciate. Um, don't take clicks. Don't take likes, don't take comments for granted. That's arrogant. Um, and that's not nice. And this world needs nice people. Um, so um, let's show people that they that you care, um, that they are important to you. If you do that, it will help you to grow. So in one sentence. Um, do what you love, love what you do, and the public will love you. It's all about you. So, I hope these uh, tips and tricks help you if you want to more, uh, 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 if you want to, to know more uh, uh, um, about it, please send me an email, uh, if, uh, send me in the comments, because I can tell you always more and help you uh, with your own channel if you want it just let me know i hope you like the video and um, i hope to see you next time in a talking video or uh, uh, um, in a music video tomorrow there's another one um, that i uh, really like it's played with uh, billerbeck and um, uh, i finally had and registration that I really like. So that's a surprise for tomorrow morning. Um, and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you are more than welcome. And if you want a, to be a member from my channel, you are of course uh, uh, very welcome. You even can buy a mug with my name. And I'm not commercial, of course, but it's just a gimmick. So. Uh, Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.